Hey everyone, this week we are doing another Robots are going to take over all our jobs video. They took our jobs! They took our jobs! They took your jobs! They took your jobs too! The guys from Wiscom were so kind and gave me access to their pro version of their AI rendering software and I had a lot of fun testing it out. Now, while this AI works best with automotive sketching, it can give really awesome results when it comes to hard surface stuff as well. You already saw me play around with this before, but now I could try out something that I didn't get the chance to do before, namely real-time rendering real-time rendering while I am drawing. And I must say it is freaky seeing the render come along with the strokes that I am putting down. As uh, someone who loves sketching but is not super fond of rendering, this is a very helpful and fast tool for me either to just throw some values into a painting and present it like that or to create the first step of the rendering process. Because starting out with a value is much less intimidating than a white background. All right, you've seen the sped up recordings. Now it's time to do something real time. So I'll just bring in this little Mac that I sketched and let's see what the AI does of it. And it is quite a black outline. So let's see if we change render engines, we get something more interesting out of it. So I notice that the AI struggles uh, and areas like this where there's a lot of closeness. Actually, I like what that looks like. Let's see the last render engine. And then what we can do, oh, so what's, what's good in this one is that we can do actually some adjustment on the go. So what I'm gonna go is switch to the eraser, make it a little bit smaller and just, I see that it's, it has, issues with the legs. So I'm just going to erase these dark patches a little bit away. Let's see if we can help the AI out with that. I feel like it's already a bit better. Let me switch back to the first render mode and let me make the erase a little bit smaller so I can go into the details there. I turned down the flow, not the size. Okay, that's that was silly of me. So yeah, this is, this is what you get with an AI. It's not always fantastic. I, I think it's the legs. Uh, let, let, us, let us do a, a fix. If we take away the legs and if we put a different type of walking mechanism, maybe even something wheeled, let's see if that helps. Uh, let me put it to the first render engine and I'm gonna bring down the flow of my pen quite a bit. I'm going to add some darker lines. Hopefully the AI will know what to do with those. And then I'm just going to add a bit more generic Mac legs. Let me zoom out a bit. I was a bit zoomed in there. So working more with it, I'm, I'm starting to understand it a little bit more. It has definitely to do with the pressure because I'm applying less pressure to these legs and I have a nicer, softer approach in the, in the render engine as well. So what's cool is that these, these things that you can, you can do this live adjustment if, if you need to and if you feel it's necessary. And you can get pretty, pretty fast results out of something like this.
There we go, that was a quick adjustment of our mech and let us just cycle through the render engines again. I feel like if we combine some of these we might have a good result. I am going to export this first render and the second one. We will continue our regular scheduled program after a word from this week's sponsor, Nature. Because nature is good for your health. All right, here we have our two renders as well, together with the original drawing, which still has the tentacle legs, but that should be fine. Let's just bring it down there and let's make this a little bit bigger so it fits there. Oh, actually, let, let us do both renders at the same time. That way we can make sure that we don't have discrepancies between their sizes. So something like there. Now in this one I'm just going to throw a mask on it and just hide the legs. All right now with the legs hidden I can bring in these two and just see which one works better. I'm going to just give a slight overlay. I mean not overlay but I'm going to bring down the opacity on the first one and let's see if we can mix it nicely together with the second one. Something like there. I'm going to group these two, uh, add a mask on top of this as well, and just hide the things that don't really work between the legs. All right, so here we have the cleaned up render. I'm going to bring down the opacity a little bit. And basically what we can do at this point is just make a new layer and uh, paint over it a little bit here and there where we feel it's uh, it's necessary so we can make this area a little bit darker i would also just take because i am a line person i would just make sure to bring some definition with a brush just a couple of lines explaining things a little bit better it's not that necessary but i just like that style All right, and there is our Mac after a little bit of cleaning up. I still think that uh, using something like this will speed up uh, the process quite a bit. So I, I am I am quite happy. Uh, but it, it has that it had a, that randomness. It has that uh, Bob Ross type of uh, happy accidents in there. It gives you a, a bunch of interesting extra detail that you didn't plan. Well, I didn't plan in this case. So there's a bunch of stuff here, some stuff there, this area here. It's, it's, it's a lot of interesting things that happen with this. So definitely uh, give it a shot. And with that, we are not just out of jobs. But also out of time for this video. But to make our parting more acceptable, I'm going to play another recording of the live uh, rendering tool in Viscom while I say my final goodbyes. As per usual, I love to read your thoughts about my videos and these topics, so leave your comments down below. You can support me via the links in the description. You can follow me if you want to see more content like this and hit that like button if you don't want robots to take your jobs. But as always, the most important thing is that you folks have a great time and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.